Hi everyone, and welcome to the third video tutorial on the XF-11. Today we are going to see how to climb at high altitude, up to 44,000 feet, and how to operate the pressurization system. For the purpose of the demonstration, I will have all my tanks attached and full. It doesn't mean that you need to have all your tanks at full capacity and fully filled. It's just to show you that even with the plane as heavy as you can, there is no way your plane shouldn't be able to climb this high. My engines are running, but you can see that my pressurization system is set to off. I could enable it right now, but it wouldn't light the little indicator because I'm still at an altitude too low to get this actually running. So let's turn it off for now and later we will see what it does. We will have to take a look at the pressure altitude, which is the altitude indicated outside of the cabin, and the cabin altitude, which is the altitude inside of the cabin. Of course, and it's written here, you have to have all your doors closed. Sorry, so my access door is currently closed. If I leave my access door open, I wouldn't be able to pressurize my cabin. So let's close this one. And sorry, you're on the way. And the second thing is if you jettison your canopy, you will not be able to pressurize your cabin either. So both these systems must be closed and your cabin must be ready for pressurization. But we will see that later. For now, let's take off. Knots, start to pull on the yoke. Gears up. Two hundred knots. Oops. I adjust my throttle and propeller pitch. And I will try to fly just over the runway, follow heading 20 to 0. Let's trim this a little bit. Set my heading. Autopilot. Heading hold. Still roughly at 20. Pitch is good. Okay. Now we can see about the climb, the initial climb. You have to have your manifold pressure to high enough. RPMs to high enough. And you always have to follow these fuel flow needles for the left and the right engine because as you will climb, checking that everything is good, still looks good, as you will climb, your manifold pressure will lower, so we'll have to increase it a little bit. And you will see that despite doing that, your fuel flow will also lower. So that is fuel flow to the max and this at the bottom is fuel flow to the lower. And if you don't have any more fuel flow your engine will stop. So you don't want that. So we'll always keep a look at these two indicators. You could also take a look at the exhaust gas temperature when you see it reducing, that means you're also being less efficient, also burning less fuel, but this needle is uh, way faster to react to the situation 
so it's better to follow these needles. We are getting close to 9000 feet. We will see that the fuel flow has already quite reduced. So as the fuel flow reduces, what you have to do is to adjust your mixture and reduce your mixture to get the needle to the highest possible position. And it's always with your mixture, which are these two levers, that you will be able to, to fix this. We can also take a look at these indicators. So we have the pressure altitude, which is just above 10,000 feet, and the cabin altitude, which is also just above 10,000 feet. That's because there is no pressurization currently. I can see my ground speed is reaching 360 knots. And here we are, 15,000 feet roughly altitude hole. So it does oscillate a little bit, that's something that happens sometimes, and I swear it's not me, it's on Microsoft Flight Simulator code. So take a look at the pressurization right now. You can see that the exterior is at 15,000 feet, roughly, that's good news, and the cabin altitude is exactly at the same value. But it says that when the pressurization is activated, the cabin altitude should be at 10,000 feet or less. So we should never be in this white arc. Let's turn it on and see what it does. We can see that the light turned on also. And we can see that the needle is slowly getting lower. And it will stop somewhere below 10,000 feet. Of course, at this altitude, there is no way that you can open this door again. It's not working. Either here or from the switch of the left console, you cannot open the door. You cannot also jettison the canopy. The system is also not functional at this altitude. If you want to jettison your canopy, I'll let you see by yourself, you have to be below 12,000 feet pressure altitude. And same for the access door. It won't open above that. And we can see that now our cabin altitude is stabilized roughly at maybe 9,000 feet, something like that, but it's much more comfortable than what we had before. If I disable it, you will see the needle raising just again and it will reach the pressure altitude. But we don't want that, so we let it on. And that's exactly all you need to know for the pressure altitude. Let's bring some more heat on the plane. And now that we've seen how the pressurization system works, let's continue our climb. So I set my autopilot to pitch hold, put it a bit up, and I want to go to about 2,000 feet per minute, so even more. All right, this is perfect. So we have passed 18,000 feet, and you can see that from now, manifold pressure is getting wild. Because the supercharger that is in the aircraft is getting activated at precisely 18,000 feet. It gives us enough boost, enough power to reach our cruise and our ceiling altitudes. Without the supercharger we wouldn't be able to fly this high. And we are passing 30,000 feet. 
We are still alive. We can see that the indicated air speed is not the best. So I will just reduce my climb speed now. It's about time. But the ground speed at 30,000 feet is where it should be. It is at 330 knots. So we are quite good. Now we'll keep climbing up to 44,000 feet at roughly 1,000 feet per minute. Let's try to not climb too fast. Change of plans. As long as I don't see my air speed dropping too much, keep monitoring my mixture. So as long as I don't see my airspeed dropping too much, too fast, I will climb at 2000 feet per minute. Because why not? The plane is currently willing to do it. If you take a look at the mixture levers, you will see that they are just below the lean mark. It's not yet cut off, but we are not far from it. So we really have to be careful with this. I will try to choose some autopilot again. Heading each hold. So what do we have? Is it stable this time? It's better than before. Okay. We're not climbing super fast, it will take a bit of time. But we'll get there. Take a look at the mixture on the fuel flow and if I touch them just slightly uh, we can see that I'm already at the top. I can't raise it higher. So I think from now the mixture should not be moving at all. Leave it this way. As you can see, it takes some time to climb at these high altitudes. It's not really a rocket. The good news is that even if I'm doing some editing to this video, because of course I won't let it unedited on YouTube, you still have the, the clock over here that will tell you how much time it took me to get to 39,000 feet currently. And uh, you will have an idea of how to plan it. We are currently at 116 miles, nautic miles from our departure, approximately. And we have not even reached 40,000 miles. If I take a look, quick look at the pressurization. We are still good. Cabin is exactly at 10,000 feet right now, but the plane is clearly very close to 40,000 feet. Of course, our ground speed is a little bit slower than before. We are flying too high, we no longer have our 6,000 horsepower at this altitude, it's much less, but we're flying. And I will disable the autopilot from now. There's just about 4500 feet to climb. Let's do this manually. You can see that the fuel flow was very close to being catastrophic. 41,000 feet. Fuel flow is really, really bad. Adjust it just a little bit. If I reduce it too much, I will have my uh, two lights turning red, telling me that my engines are off. So it's critical to yeah to always monitor these two lights or your engine sound. That will tell you. Oh, uh, whoa! I'm losing altitude here. It's not what I want. Oh, 
42,000 hits. Always okay. Extra is super lean. My heading is terrible. Climbing too fast, but I think it's time to finish this video, right? 43,000 hits. And there you can see you will feel the pressure of moving your mixture axis from just a millimeter <laughs> because it's very sensitive. And 44,000 feet, we did it. Autopilot on altitude heading. Will it give me a stable flight this time? Not really. I don't know. No, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect. Sometimes it works well. So my ground speed is roughly 300 knots, precisely 300 knots, actually. My fuel flow is super low, which means I'm not using a lot of fuel currently. I'm using fuel from the top tanks. And from here, I can cruise for quite a long time. It's not the most comfortable situation because I'm at the very limit shutting down my engines. I'm at the very limit of everything actually. But I'm flying 44,000 feet to XF11. So once again, thank you for your time. You reduce the sound of this. Thank you for your time. And uh, I will see if I need to make any other tutorial, maybe later, maybe after the release. You will tell me if you, uh, there is something you want to see, there is something you want me to to explain a bit more and uh, I hope to see you in the skies with this beautiful plane sometime soon and uh, yeah thank you again